Presidents of China and the U.S. are holding talks at a private dinner in Washington. As President Xi arrived, he was greeted by Vice President Joe Biden. His journey from the U.S. West Coast to the East marks a shift in his visit from business to politics. The dinner is being held at the president's official state guest house. On the agenda, market access, cybersecurity, intellectual property protections, and we've just learned of a big climate change announcement. That news coming from the American side. CCTV's Jessica Stone joins us live now from the White House. And Jessica, what do we know so far about this climate deal? Well, White House officials are telling me that, that there will actually be a package of climate announcements tomorrow between these two countries. The most prominent one, though, is an agreement by China to limit carbon emissions and to put a price on greenhouse gas emissions. In fact, it would be a national program that would begin in 2017. And it's an idea that has been tried in the United States and Europe. Uh, and so far, neither of those countries have really managed to put it into place on a national level. At this time, though, we do not have confirmation from the Chinese that they are, in fact, going to make this announcement. But there's a lot of buzz around climate in these talks. At the state dinner for President Xi Jinping and Madam Peng Liuan, no detail is too small. Each table will have one of these candy Chinese gardens and a row of miniature moon cakes just in time for the Chinese mid-autumn moon festival. When I was thinking about what um, I could also include that is, you know, a, a compliment to China, I read about mooncakes and that the festival is coming next week. I wanted to include something that uh, President Obama likes and he likes pumpkin. So when I decided to make them, I included them to be pumpkin mooncakes. More than 200 guests will enjoy this Colorado lamb entree, Maine lobster and some traditional rice noodle rolls made by a Washington, D.C. noodle maker. Head chef Chris Comerford says the kitchen is always conscious that diplomacy is the main course. Of course, the culinary diplomacy is the best achievement. So if we could make our guests happy with our food, hopefully they'll be happy for the rest of the day. And kind of like that's really, that's where they're going. This is the second time U.S. President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama have hosted a Chinese leader on a state visit. President Hu Jintao arrived for a state dinner in 2011. China is the only country in the world to be honored with two state dinners under this administration. Just last year, First Lady Michelle Obama, her daughters and mother were the guests of China's First Lady, Peng Liuan. Now White House aides say the Obamas have a chance to plan something special in return, a gesture of thanks. Uh, this will be her first opportunity to host Madam Peng here uh, in the United States. And again, as I was mentioning earlier, this is such a tremendous opportunity to reciprocate for really the, the amazing hospitality that both President Xi and Madam Peng extended to the President and the First Family. And so, Elaine, there you got to see uh, my opportunity to preview the state dinner uh, this morning and this afternoon. And that, of course, is going to be the capstone on this visit. We began by talking about uh, that climate deal that we expect to hear tomorrow. The agenda is packed full of opportunities for these two leaders to talk at length. Uh, and we will have that public press conference earlier in the day, as well as a working lunch at the State Department. But it all does come down to that state dinner on Friday evening. And uh, we'll all be watching to see... Um, not only just the efforts that the White House has made to make this a tremendous honor for the Chinese president and his uh, first and the first lady, but uh, just to see what other announcements come out of this all important visit. That's right, Jessica. Uh, a lot of working moments, but as we saw from your story, a lot of light and informal moments, fun moments as well. Yeah, very important to have both. All right, Jessica Stone at the White House.